Extensive access is question number two of lesson eight. Answer the following questions in the decimal form of the proper fraction eight over seven, starting from the tenth digit. The sum of a certain number of consecutive digits is two hundred ninety-seven. What is a? So firstly, let's draw that circle to help us. We got one, four, two, eight, five, seven. All right, and. Uh, if the question tells you that the sum of some certain consecutive digits is 297, what is A? So you're going to do 297 divided by 27, which is the sum of all that six numbers. And you see that equals to 11. There's no remainder, right? Since there's no remainder, it could be any order, right? It could be starting from 142857 or 285714. It doesn't matter. Uh, about the 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 order of these six digits, right? So that means for A, you can choose any number that you can have. So for A, it could be one or two or three or four or five or six, right? The range for A is going to be uh, from one to six. And then second one, does there exist? Uh, a natural number a such that in the decimal form of this fraction starting from the tenth digit sum of certain number of consecutive is 300 so using the same method 300 divided by 27 equals to um say equals to is that still 11 i guess yes it's still 11 and the remainder will be three right so that means you have to find um, some way that when you do recurring, you're repeating the first few numbers add up to three, and you see that it's no possible. Because if you start from one, one plus four it will be five, four plus two will be six, and all the others will be bigger than three, so that is not possible. It doesn't exist, right? And then the last one in the decimal, okay, still the same question. Now this time the sum is 553. So you're going to use the same number, divide by 27. And let's see what do we have. Um, so let's do the long division. 553 five, divided by 27. You got 2 here, which is 54. Do the subtraction. You got 1, 3, and that'll be 0. You got 1, 3 remainder, right? So that'll be 20 with 13 remainder. And let's see, there's some way that uh, you, you, you add some previous numbers in that you got 13. So let's see. For 1 plus 4, 1 plus 4 plus 2 will be... Uh, 7, 7 plus 8, uh, 15, we cannot do that. 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 8, that would be 14, right? Over 13, doesn't work. 2 plus 8 plus 5, that will be 15, we cannot have that. And then, say, 8 plus 5, yes, that that's going to work, right? 8 plus 5 is 13. So which number divided by 7, the first di uh, digit after the decimal point will be 8? I think that will be 6, right? 6 over 7 equals to 0 0.8 something. So that's going to work. And there's something else. Uh, what about 7? So if you do 5, 7, 1, you'll see that 5 plus 7 plus 1 is also 13. So still we can start from 5. 5 times by 7 will be fifty. Uh, I mean 35, so that means will be seven, 4 over 7, right? 0 0.5 something there. So these two scenarios are going to work. Means the answer to this question will be A, will either be 6 or A equals to 4. So that's it. That's the answer to this question.